All right, welcome back to the Teacher's Tech Bar. This is a special for the students at River School. We're gonna be getting set up with our online classes and we're gonna be using the software called Zoom that's gonna allow us to host virtual class meetings. And so in this video, we'll start by getting you set up with your Zoom account and then take you over to Google Calendar, which is where you're gonna have access to the links that you'll need to click on in order to get into those virtual classes. So let's start out here with Zoom. First thing, make sure you're in Google Chrome. That's gonna come into play when we get onto the calendar. Um, but when you're at zoom.us, you're gonna click on my account in the top right corner, and you're gonna sign in with Google. Make sure to choose your Rivers account. So you're not gonna to come to this page too often, but I just wanna make sure your account is all set up. And if you click over into this meeting section here, and scroll to the bottom, you're gonna see Chrome extension and the option to download. Go ahead and download that because that's gonna allow you to do some things in Google Calendar that's gonna make your life pretty easy. So you can see I already have it, so it says remove from Chrome, but you probably have something that says download or add to Chrome, something like that. Just click on it uh, and then you're good to go. So I'm gonna close that out. So let's go over to Google Calendar. And if you wanna to go to the link, it's calendar.google.com or if you're on a Gmail or Google website already, just find these nine circles that create a square, click on that, and then find Calendar. So Google Calendar is gonna be your home base for getting started with a class. All of your teachers are, have been asked to schedule their classes using Google Calendar, and the reason they do that is because it allows them to give you a link to their Zoom meeting. For example, if I look at this 9 a.m. meeting I have today, Zoom demo, I'm gonna click on that once, and there's a big blue box that shows join Zoom meeting. And I'll click on that, and that'll take me right over to Zoom so I can join my class. For that first class period, next Wednesday at eight, I would recommend hopping on that meeting about 10 minutes before it starts so that you can go through the things that it asks you to do in order to get that application on your computer. You're actually gonna to need to download a program uh, that looks like this little icon here down at the bottom, zoom.us. And when you hit this, for me, if I hit zoom.us, it's gonna take me right to that. But for you, it's gonna take you through some steps to download that on your computer. If that doesn't work, you always have this link down here that says download and run Zoom. So you'd hit cancel and then go down here and download and run Zoom. So that's how you access your classes, Zoom meetings, using your Google Calendar. You can also start one of these meetings. Let's say you wanna plan a group project or just wanna give this a practice. Double click on the time you want that meeting to occur and you can see there's a whole host of things you can change about that respective meeting. But the important things are obviously the title, the time, make it a Zoom meeting, and then the guests. And this is where you can just put in the email address of any of those people you want to join. And then you can see all this information goes to that person or those people when you hit save. This is exactly what your teachers will be doing when they set up their class meetings with you. So that's how you do it on the computer. And I want you to go over now to the iPad and get this set up as well. And I do want you to do this because some teachers, depending on their particular class, will ask you to use the iPad just given the nature of the work being done in that class. So let's go over to the iPad. So we're on the iPad here and it's gonna be pretty similar to what we just did on the computer. We're gonna have the Zoom app and we're gonna have the Google Calendar app. And when you go into the Zoom app, you're gonna hit sign in. And just like on the computer, you hit your Google and continue to get logged in. And this is what it's gonna look like when you're on that Zoom application. Just a quick side note, if you wanna schedule a quick meeting or just start a meeting instantaneously with someone, just hit that new meeting button there and you can get off and running. But let's go back over to the calendar. So you're gonna to wanna to go to the Google Calendar app, which is at the bottom here. And just like we did on the computer, tap on the meeting that you wanna join. And then it says join meeting in the middle of the page here. And I would tap that link. And it takes me right back over to the Zoom app. So nice, quick, and easy. All right, in future videos, I'm gonna talk through how to actually participate in a Zoom meeting, but for now, I wanna make sure your account is set up and you're set up with Google Calendar because that's really gonna be your home base for figuring out your schedule during this online learning time. All right, so I look forward to helping you in future videos be a participant in a Zoom meeting.